Food Network's known for making a bunch of great applications featuring recipes for tons of different things. One of them in particular for the iPad focused on cupcakes. We decided to partner with the Food Network to bring this application to the web. So to do this, we had two goals. One was to use rich web features and showcase the kinds of features Adobe's bringing to the web platform. The other is to see how we can create practical uses for a web application when dealing with recipes. The first thing you'll notice when you come to the site is this giant cupcake, and specifically how the frosting is changing color. We're actually achieving this with canvas blend modes. And this allows us to use layers within our canvas and interpolate and mix the values, creating rich color effects. Another feature we're able to use is CSS masks. And we're actually using this in the navigation items at the bottom to apply this linen texture to them. You can see how we can even change the background color as we hover and still have the mask applied. We can also use CSS clip paths to create a shape for our HTML content. We're using this to create the star shape for each of the elements. And this is similar to how you would use vector masks within Photoshop. Because we're on the web, we can also make use of other web features like CSS transforms and transitions. And we're using this in the menu. You can see as we click, it actually slides our content over, transitioning in the menu elements. We're also using masks within these navigation elements to create a rich texture on the content. Another interesting way we're using transitions is when you move from one section to another. You can see as I click this transitions from one section to another using this animated mask. Let me slow that down for you just to, so you can see it in slow motion. You can see how we have these animated circles that hide and then reveal our content. And this is all done with canvas and masks in CSS. In addition to graphics and transitions, we also wanted to innovate around layout. You can see here we're using CSS shapes to wrap text around this image. This really adds to the polish of how it looks. So because this is a recipe application, most of the time people are going to have their hands busy or dirty while they're actually using it. So we wanted to create a way that you could navigate the application without actually having to touch your computer and get it dirty. So what we did was implemented voice navigation. And let me show you how this works. You can actually click this little button down here and watch as I talk into the application, it'll actually navigate between sections. Go to cupcakes. Vanilla cupcakes. Recipe. So you can see how that creates the ability for us to navigate the application without ever having to touch our computer. We can also make use of other hardware, like the Leap Motion device, which allows us to use gestural input when navigating our computer. So I can just input the device, and it instantly recognizes it. And we're using CSS regions to break up our content into different slides, but instead of having to touch the device to navigate, we're actually using the leap motion. So you can use gestures to actually swipe through the content and continue cooking. Another thing we can do is add more features to our application, like a timer that allows us to count down how many minutes we have left when cooking our cupcakes. Or adjust the quantity, for example, if we want 20 instead of 12 cupcakes, I can know exactly how many tablespoons of unsalted butter I'll need. A great feature and challenge of the web is that it fits on every screen, so we really need to make our content responsive. A great way to communicate to developers how we want our site to change at different sizes is using Adobe Edge Reflow. And this allows us to set different breakpoints and visually show how we want the content to look at each of these screen sizes. So you can see here how it changes over each breakpoint. And then if I go back to our content, you can see we get the same results at various breakpoints. This also allows us to adapt it to different devices like the iPad. You can see how we have the same content that's adapted to the iPad screen. And even as we rotate the device, it adapts to the new orientation. The web has really simplified content delivery and collaboration. And now we're trying to add features that are really gonna make it a more rich and expressive platform. If you're interested in this stuff, check out html.adobe.com for more information.